Uh, welcome back. Buzz let you to the rescue. Last real level in the game. Um, yeah, so, funny thing happened in between episodes. I set my controller on the floor, and then I bumped it with my foot. So that's actually why you, uh, you miss out on the movie there. And we got some more, like, ratchet and clank ass music happening here in the background, so. So that's always cool. And this level is, um, it's very interesting. Because, well, first of all, the, the thing that you're collecting is sentient luggage. Which is, um, which is, you know, that's, that's a thing, I guess. It is indeed a thing. But second, you've got a really, really, this level is enormous. But there's really not much happening in it. It's just big. And the game developers were nice enough to give you, like, rocket shoes all throughout the level. So that you can, like, I don't know, just kind of help yourself... Uh, get around a little more quickly. Like, like, there's a pair of rocket shoes right there. But we want to collect as many coins as possible. Now, the other nice thing about this level is that it's, it's like, broken down into zones. And a center. And what you can do is you can go into the center, and you're actually supposed to climb onto the plane to get to certain, like, zones where you have to do stuff to get the tokens. So it's kind of a cool level. Um, there's actually one token that we can get right in the middle. A challenge with Slinky, of all people, in the last level. I don't remember him getting this far in the movie, but, you know. So much for continuity, right? Hey ya, Buzz! So what... Now, instead of doing some... This is a really weird challenge. So you're supposed to get to the end of this course in the time limit without touching the slime or jumping. Because that would make it way too easy, right? But all you gotta do is just kind of worm your way around. And I mean, it's pretty easy to get by this thing without messing up too badly. As long as you don't get hit. And just kind of keep going. You're gonna have to, like, adjust your path for, you know, the camera changing itself. But it's actually not too hard. And if you've come this far in the game, you really should know how, like, things work. I guess the biggest part of this challenge, like, the most challenging part of it, is, like, not jumping. Because I am so tempted to jump to just go faster, you know what I mean? But you can't, because if you do, you lose the challenge, so... We're, we should be getting close to the end now. Just gotta keep running, and, you know, the game is nice enough that you'll make it no matter what. Well, I mean, not no matter what, but they give you a decent amount of time, so... Now, I believe Rex is actually over here in Zone 2, and he will, like, tell you some stuff. But we'll... we want to get on the plane. <laughs> Gotta catch the ride. And the plane is just gonna go around in circles, so... We can take it. Take a hit, just tank it. And what you want to do is hop on this wing, and you gotta jump across it. Oh my god, I almost didn't make that. You want to climb pretty high, as high as you can. We're going to be doing something with that helicopter, too. Don't you worry about a thing. But there's some luggage on top of the plane. You know, silly luggage. What are you doing? Ju jumping around on top of a plane. Now, getting to most of the luggage actually requires you to, like, ride this plane. So what you do is you run down the end of the plane and then jump to an area that you wouldn't otherwise be able to get to. Buzz Lightyear to Star Command. Come in, Star Command. Come in, Star Command. Um, <clears throat> you're not really... Ugh, how, how do I put this? This is also how you get to the boss. And it's kind of frustrating, because you have to do this, like, three times. And you also don't move the same way that the plane does, so if you just stand at the end of the plane, it's really easy to just fall off, I guess. If that's the way you want to put it. But So this is the first place we want to get off. Jump right there. And get the luggage. Dude, get the luggage, man. Get collected, you stupid luggage. You can also get a one-up if you make your jump correctly. Now, dude, Mr. Gunslinger, you need to go away. What is that audio cat? Oh, I... Well, I guess it was lag. That solves that question, right? So... Man, it just feels like this game has gone so quickly. Especially because of all the... I don't know. I don't know if it's really gone quickly. Well, I mean, it has, but... I don't know if it went even... how fast it went relative to the first time. It feels like it went a lot faster just because I know what I'm doing now. But I mean, this game, like, tormented me so much as a child that it's like, 
It's a real good sense of closure, if you know what I mean. I guess the most tedious part of this level is just going around and collecting all enough coins to give to Ham, who is around zone 5, I believe, is where Ham is. Oh, gotta get that green shit, though. That'll save us some time, certainly. I don't know if you can use the green shit on the boss of this level, either. I don't think you can, to be honest, but who knows, right? <laughs> the vultures. I like the way they, like, float down from the sky, and they're just like, I'm gonna get you. I'm gonna get you. Now, let's see here. There should be another luggage over here by Zone 2, which is actually also how you get into Zone 1. And getting into Zone 1 is how you get the mystery token thingy. I'm taking a lot more damage than I need to, as well. I think it's, like, the lightning that's causing so much slowdown here. It must be, because I have not, like, struggled with lots of lag up until this level, so... I mean, we had a little, like, isolated in some other levels, but I mean, like, this is... Seems to be getting a lot more lag, but whatever. I mean, it's like... This is such a low-qual game that it's like... It's, I mean, I don't want to say it's almost expected, but, I mean, it's kind of almost expected that sort of the stuff like this happens, so. Now what do we want to do? We want to climb this pole and just jump on the zip line, and now you got to jump before you get to the end of this one. And now if you talk to this thing, it says, Use the buttons to change the bottom row of lights to match the top row of lights. The puzzle reset if you take more than three tries. So, and then if you do this, you get the token. And now, I don't really know how this works either. It's not very intuitive. But, I guess you just want to... And it'll always be different every time. But it looks like we want to light up yellow and red. So, how do we light up yellow? I guess by pressing that one. And then, light up green... Or no, we want green... God damn it. Yeah, okay, never mind. So this time, all we want to have happen... We just want to light up yellow. So we stomp on this one. That makes red go out. Now you want to stomp on this one. Okay. And now we turn out blue and turn on red. And that was it. So I guess it wasn't as unintuitive as it, it looked, but... That's it. So uh, that's the next token... We are just flying right along. I thought that last, like, luggage number four was over here, too. I guess I was mistaken. But fortunately, there's coins galore. It's not hard to find 50 coins. You just gotta do a lot of walking around. So, where is that luggage? We got the one on top of the plane. There's one in zone eight. But I'm trying to remember where the other one is. I thought it was over by... Rex, to be honest, but it doesn't look like it, so. I, I don't know, maybe it is. Maybe we can just uh, check it out a little bit better. Yeah, it must be the freaking level, because there's lag everywhere. It's happening. Or you know what? Maybe it's in Zone 3, because I don't think there's anything else in Zone 3, even, so. And we need to, like, scour this place to get more coins anyway. Or maybe Zone 4. Oh no, that's where you turn the luggage in. Okay. Well, Zone 4... I'm pretty sure Zone 4 is where you start. Or wait, is it? I, I don't know. Maybe that's where the luggage is. I know Ham is in Zone 5. So, we can just go over there now and give him the coins. And that'll be something that we'll have done, so... There's that. Are you going to give me a coin, too, or did I... Yeah, I guess I already got you. There's four. Five is over here. Oh, I'm going to get you. I'm going to get you. <coughs> oh, my God, my voice. It's not even like I've been, like, straining my voice or anything. It just feels sore. I don't know. It must be the... I'm telling you, it's the weather, but... I don't know. Maybe I should just take a break from recording. I mean, I have been recording for almost two hours now. I mean, I've been taking breaks in between, but I've got almost... Well, no, I haven't got two hours worth of video, so... Just ignore me. I don't know what I'm talking about, apparently. Where is the last luggage? I'm pretty sure he's over... No, because here he's at the... Oh, you know what? Maybe he's over at the boss fight. That's where I think he is, so... 
We're going there next anyway. Doesn't matter. This plane actually can't run you over or anything, so it's like, don't worry about that. If you are worried about that. I, I mean, I don't know why you would be. So. Maybe he's at the top. No, he's not at the top of the flagpole. What are you talking about? You dummy. Now, what you do want to do, though, is jump on top. Climb! Climb for your life, Space Ranger! And then we'll just... Uh, yeah, I guess we can just fall when it gets over to a better angle for us to fall at, so... And jump! Oh, I'm surprised he didn't go... Oh! There's <laughs> Buzz going, oh... I should mention, though, that when you're moving on this plane, you do, like, retain your momentum. So if you jump, you'll go backwards a bit. Actually, that wouldn't be retaining your momentum. I don't think. Right? I don't know. I don't know much about physics, actually. Like, I've never really taken a lot of physics. I was always more, like, abstract math. Oh, shit. We made it. Whew. Yeah, I was always more abstract math over, like, physics and stuff like that, so... But I'm pretty sure if you jump up on something that's moving, you're supposed to land at, like, at the same spot. If that thing travels at a constant speed, right? I'm pretty sure that's what, like, the case is. So anyway, we're about to fight the boss. You remember this guy from the movie? The Blacksmith? Like, comment, and subscribe if you remember the Blacksmith from Toy Story 2. All you gotta do is just... Uh, tank the hits, I guess. Because he'll, like, make this shockwave that'll follow you, and it's really hard to avoid. But you can attack him fast enough and just, like, knock him out before he has any say in anything. That's kind of really what all of the bosses in this game are. It's a little pathetic, almost. Um, keep on playing. So we did the boss, we did the time attack, we did the coins. Uh, we did the mystery. So all we need are those... The luggage, man. The sentient luggage. That would be an interesting, like, indie band name, I guess you could say. Like, the sentient luggage performing live at some, like, underground. You know, performing at the Howling Dude. <laughs> the Howling Dude. If you know which comedian mentioned that, then you are freaking amazing. I'll, I'll just tell you, it's Louis C.K. He's hilarious, man. I wish I was, like... Anywhere near as funny as Louis C.K. was. I think he's a freaking genius. I mean, it's kind of hard to, like... I don't know, I think that being funny in an LP is difficult, unless you've planned everything out. But that also kind of, like, takes away a lot of the charm of the LP itself. And I don't want to get, like, all meta or anything like that on, like, Oh, this is what it means to be an lp -er, but I'm just, You know... I don't know, I, th I think planning stuff out kind of ruins too much of it. No to and I mean, I kind of like to be like, oh, I, this is the general goal I want to have accomplished by this episode, but to like actually like plan out everything that I'm going to say and all the jokes I'm going to make. Like, maybe every once in a while, if the joke is too good to pass off, maybe one or two, but everything? There's no way you can do that. Okay, so that's luggage number four. And I seriously seriously want to know where this last luggage is because I have no idea where it would be. Like, comment, and subscribe if you have no idea where your luggage is. <laughs> right? He's not over here. I thought he was pretty much out in the open. Oh, you know what? I th Maybe he is by Rex. I think he's on top of this freaking other luggage thing. And I just wasn't paying attention. Oh, so, the lag. I guess the lag's only happening here around Rex. Rex, you suck. You're making the game lag. Need a hint? Sure enough, he's up he He's right in here. Of course he is. Actually, I can't remember which zone the guy's in. Zone 3, okay. Thanks, Rex. I guess you were helpful after all. Even if you are annoying as fuck, so... I guess we just gotta walk all the way over here. We're walking, we're walking. <coughs> My throat's scratchy, scratchy. All right, just rock it in the, into the last token in the game. This is it, guys. This is the last 
Pizza Planet token. To infinity. We have and one beyond. thing left to do in the game, and then we're done. Isn't that crazy? So that's all five. And that gives us 50 tokens. It's... I don't know. It's oddly satisfying. You've collected all 50 tokens. Then Buzz is like, uh -huh. And here's your bonus movie. It's Woody being all successful. So... Mm, the final showdown! Next time on Let's Play Buzz Light... Nah, I'm, I'm just kidding. So this is, uh... This is, in my opinion, the ultimate cop-out of a final boss fight. Are you ready for this? Now, we're gonna look at the polio victims. <laughs> I mean, Jesse is terrible, but Woody also looks pretty bad. And I love the way they, like, fall. So it's basically, all this fight is, is the last three bosses together at the same time. And it's really dumb. Now, there is a way that I like to do this. I'd like to take out the Gunslinger first, just because you can kill him with your laser. And the Blacksmith will give you some problems, you know, but... And they all share one life bar, too. Which is, uh... Dude, get, a get away from me. So you can just pick on the Gunslinger to get him away, get him out of your grill first. And they'll all just kind of huddle together here, programmed to walk towards you slowly, so... And I guess you could be charging up shots. To, to, God damn it. The charge shot went to the prospector. Because it's dumb. Now the charge shot missed because I can't aim for shit. I just want the gunslinger to go away. Come on. Play with this, you dirty little toy. Oh, I freaking love that. I might die during this fight, too. Yeah, go home to your toy chest. Dude, Gunslinger, get the fuck out of here. Thank you very much. Yeah, I'm gonna die, but whatever. Go home to your toy I'm just gonna... Whatever. Who cares? It's fucking Buzz Lightyear to the rescue. It's funny, because the Prospector talks during this fight, even though he go didn't talk during the chest. others. I like getting rid of the Prospector second, just because he's annoying, since he attacks a lot more frequently. But you just keep running around in circles, and that knocks him out there. So now all we've got left is this freaking blacksmith. <laughs> Remember? Like, comment, and subscribe! The blacksmith. Everybody loves the blacksmith, right? Hell, these guys are almost gonna kill me twice. Nah, that's not gonna happen. Oh, I bumped my microphone. Look at that freaking face. Woody looks so dumb. God, that is just crazy. And boss defeated. Save game? No. Get out of here. Mm, bonus movie awarded. Mm, mm -hmm. Yes. So, um. Well, Stinky Pete, I think it's time you learned the true meaning of playtime. Right over there, guys. No. 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 Oh boy. Wow. I guess that's it. Game one. And you get a movie of you know that happening, the ending. And the credits! <laughs> so, wow. What what to say about Toy Story 2? Traveler's Tales credits? What is that even? I have no idea. 3D engine programming, character animation, oh my god. Character artwork? Artwork? <laughs> oh, as if this game... This, oh, wow. This is like... It's such a not good game, and yet I find myself oddly charmed by it. I... I wow. I just can't even put it any way other than that. Maybe it's just because I'm such a huge fan of Toy Story. And I mean, like, not even particularly Toy Story 2. Because I think that Toy Story 2 is not anywhere near as good as Toy Story 1, or, to, or even Toy Story 3. I thought Toy Story 3 was a lot better than Toy Story 2. I mean, it's still a good movie, but... I don't know, it just... wasn't quite as cohesive, I guess you could say. Or, or maybe that's not the right word. Maybe it's more like, um... It just feels kind of... shoe-in sequel-y, if that makes sense. Whereas, like, Toy Story 3 was a lot deeper thematically, so it was a lot more satisfying to watch. But that's not the game, man. I'm not talking about the game, I'm talking about the movie. Uh, so the game... Yeah, the game is really repetitive. 
and really just, I don't know, kind of a good thing to just fuck around, kill time, you know? Uh, and, and it's kind of a good thing to upload in between this other stuff that I'm doing, so... It's funny, because, like, it occurred to me in that other episode that I was going to be all like, oh, it's so dumb of me to, like, not talk about the other LP that's happening right now that I'm uploading. And yet, for some reason, I still never mentioned the name of the L the other LP that I'm doing. And it's funnily enough, because I still haven't recorded a single episode of that other LP. Which is funny, because this definitely won't go up until after the first episode of that does. So, I don't know, just kind of a funny thing that's that's like the I guess you could say the running joke but I mean the credits have gone on so long that we're already back to the title screen so I just freaking got all these vanity plates so you don't get anything else for for that it just kind of brings you back so thanks everybody for watching and uh, next time on my channel other stuff I don't know Spyro probably the other thing that's happening right now how about that so, uh, thanks for watching. Bye.